10 MacBook tips for new MacBook owners. Storage capacity. With the MacBook, there are two versions you can get, a 256 gigabyte version or a 512 gigabyte version. It's not super straightforward to plug in legacy USB devices for storage. So with that in mind, it's probably best that you opt for the most available onboard storage as possible. And there, like I said, two flavors, 256 and 512. Opt for the 512 if at all possible. Adjust the resolution. Because the MacBook is such a small device with the 12 inch screen, you're not gonna have that much real estate realistically to work with, but you wanna to try to squeeze out as much real estate as possible. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All you need to do is open up system preferences, click on display, and then here you'll see the display settings. You wanna click where it says scaled, and by default, it goes to 1280 by 800, which is basically running high DPI, pixel doubled. Um, and what you can do is select more space like I've done here, and then you're gonna get more real estate to work with. And you're gonna notice a difference between the default resolution and when you select more space. Now, the more space option actually gives you a 1440 by 900 resolution, which is the same resolution that the 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display ships with by default. So it's the default resolution for the 15 inch MacBook Pro, which is obviously a good thing. Notice the difference here, you see, less space here with the default resolution and then more space here with the more space resolution. A nice way to gain more working space. Hide the menu bar and dock. Now, hiding the menu bar and dock is super easy and I'm gonna show you how to do so right now. And actually by doing so, you're gonna give yourself more working space. That's the whole theme of this. So what we can do is go into the dock settings and system preferences and then just click this right here to automatically hide and show the dock and then go into general under system preferences and then click here to automatically hide and show the menu bar. So now you have much more space to work with. Adjust force click. You hear that? That is the default force click sound. And also it's a little more difficult to enact force clicking with the default setting. So we're gonna turn the light option on under click and then click silent clicking to make it a lot better. Keep your MacBook awake. I use a very handy tool to allow my MacBook to stay awake even when I close the lid. So watch this, I'm going to export or begin an export of a video. Right now it is exporting. So you can see the progress there. Now, if I would close my MacBook right now without enabling no sleep, which is actually right here running in my menu bar, I just clicked it to enable it, it would stop the render. But since I've enabled that, I can actually close my MacBook's lid and it will continue rendering. And since the MacBook is very good at managing heat, it generates a lot less heat than, for instance, a MacBook Pro, I feel comfortable doing this. So that means I can move to my next location, allowing my MacBook to continue to work even when the lid is closed and you can see that the rendering is still going. Pretty awesome. Boost connectivity options. Because you only have one port, you definitely want to at least invest in a USB-C to USB adapter, at the very least. But you probably wanna go even further looking for some of the, the dock solutions or maybe even Apple's USB-C digital AV multi-port adapter. Uh, but there's lots of third-party solutions out there. Just be careful because not everything is compatible with the latest MacBook. Utilize an external display. It goes without saying that a 12 inch MacBook isn't always gonna give you enough real estate. So utilize an external display to add more. Get a case. Yes, I said get a case because you're traveling with this MacBook more than likely. It's so small, the temptation to move around with it is gonna be very strong. If you have it in a case, you're gonna avoid knocking it into walls or you're not gonna avoid knocking it into walls, but you're gonna avoid dinging it up when you do inevitably knock it into a wall or whatever the case may be. So get a case and just live with it. Use Instant Hotspot. Now, unfortunately, Apple still does not embed cellular connectivity inside its MacBooks, but you can use Instant Hotspot by clicking on the Wi-Fi icon in the menu bar and selecting your compatible cellular enabled iPad or your iPhone, and then quickly connect to the internet. As long as both devices are logged into iCloud with the same Apple ID, then you'll be able to quickly connect with no passwords needed. You can even leave your iPhone in your bag. You don't even have to unlock it to connect to the hotspot. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been 10 tips for new MacBook owners and even prospective MacBook owners. And what about you? Do you have any handy tips you'd like to share? If so, leave a comment down below. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.